Every one of these classic cars that you can see around Auburn this weekend has a unique story. Some of those stories coming from across the country. Every owner has a tale to tell. I found the engine in Grand Rapids, Michigan, the frame for the car in Chicago, the body I've got in uh, Osceola, Indiana, which is by South Bend. Meet Andy LaRue and his 1932 Auburn. LaRue was born and raised here. Each year he brings his car to the festival show where people admire the improvements he's made over the previous 12 months. At the same time, he looks for ideas for his restoration. I've seen these cars since I was a little, little kid. They used to come by our house on, on the parade and I never thought that someday oh, I'm going to have a car like that, but here we are. Also in the parade, Lee DeBoer's 1936 Auburn. Back home in Auburn for the first time after being discovered in an Oklahoma field six decades ago. And I finally got enough nerve to ask my dad what he paid for it. He gave a hundred dollars for the car in 1956. The car sat in an airplane hangar until 1997 when DeBoer got to work. During his visit to Auburn, he got the car officially certified and discovered it's only one of 15 known to be on the roads. It's all interesting. You live and learn. Something to be proud of. Yeah. And you can truthfully say what it's done. It's yeah. mine. Oh, yeah. Reporting in Auburn, Chris Darby, News Channel 15.